And action! Hello there, how's it going? Has been a while. My name is Diego Caetano Guerra. I'm a drummer, guitarist, music producer, sound engineer, da da da. You can check all of that in my link tree. Yeah? Okay, so, you know what? It's a new year, and just as, as it starts, we have a new Eurovision. I discovered Eurovision last year. You can check my old videos if you want. And I had no clue what it was about, but now thanks to my viewers and their comments, I know a lot about the contest itself and also about each individual performer. So now we have, since a couple of days, a lot of new final performances and I'm gonna check them all starting now. What I'm going to do is just go to Eurovision 2024 and see what happens. The first one. Okay, before we start, this is how it's going to go. Since I am a musician and professional in audio, I'm gonna do this with a with an I'm gonna do this with an analysis, alright? So the first thing I'm gonna do is to watch the video as it is without stopping. Then, when it ends, I'm gonna tell you my comments and then I'm gonna go and just go piece by piece and tell you what happens musically, all right? There has been a lot of people complaining that I stop too much. To them, I say, eh. But, yeah, first time, the full video, then I talk and then I go piece by piece of the video. So, let's see what Aliona Aliona and Jerry Heil has to sing. This song is called Teresa and Maria. All right, let's go.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was boring. That was absolutely boring. Um, first of all, the music is just one loop that just gets higher and it's just a loop. It's just boring. Then, since I don't understand the lyrics, uh, I might be missing the whole text and meaning part of it. Uh, this whole Maria Teresa stuff. Uh, yeah. But, I, I mean, I think... My problem is not the song or that it's pop, it's just this this dance music. Um, I don't know, in the last year there was already something like that. And it feels repetitive, it feels very, very boring. And it might be alright for the audiences, for the audience that like this kind of stuff. It just feels very, very boring. Um, but hey, I don't know. It's it's your music, it's not mine. Ah, this is not the best beginning for watching all the contestants. But yeah, hey, I'm not one of those reactors that like everything. So this, uh, it was boring, it was very good. And now I'm going to talk about all the things that are good and bad for me. Okay, so first, the guitar, it sounds like a bachata guitar. It's a style of music from the center, Central America that kind of the main instrument is this guitar with that specific sound. So I thought, like, a, at the beginning, my first reaction was, is this a bachata? But no, it was some techno. Um, she sings very, very, very good. And I just noticed something similar to one of my clients. She, she is a, a singer and she was also making some scales with her voice. And I noticed that there was something kind of off, but it's not off. It's just kind of Ukrainian. She's also Ukrainian. And this they have like a specific sensibility for the notes that they choose. And I noticed this parallelism between this singer and my client. She has a very deep voice. I mean, I know there's people behind singing backing vocals, I know, but she has like a very deep voice. There's where I got lost. Like the beginning was awesome and it could have gone in so many d directions. But this... It's so boring. It's old. It's something very old. What I'm digging is also the whole graphics behind this golden stuff that develops. It's really, really good. She just appears out of nowhere. <laughs> how, how? Why? Look, let's go again. Let's go again. Look, she's not there. And the camera moved so good. I mean, the camera moved and then she came just behind of the camera. But when it appears in the video, it's like, what the fuck? She, what is that? Like, she can start now appearing. Boom. <laughs> I think by what I am listening to that the new lady is not singing in this moment. She's just lip lip syncing, so it looks good. The first woman is doing the singing and the backing vocals but she's just 
That's what I think, because they don't hear like an extra voice. And also when she's rapping, you can hear her voice. And that's not something you're hearing now. Really, she's just moving her mouth in front of the microphone. Because when two people are singing the same, even if they're singing it perfect, the pitches, meaning the tones that they're singing, they're going to be off time a little bit and off pitch a little bit. And this is not being heard. So the lady on the left is doing the singing and the lady on the right is just... It looks good. It's fine. And if nobody thinks about it, it's fine. It's not wrong, it's not evil, it's just what's happening. You know, the, this voice and this microphone and this tone of voice, or they muted her and she was really singing but they just pressed mute because she cannot really sing as good as the other lady or she was just meh 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 and my first impression was okay now she's rapping and there's like a, another voice finishing the sentences with her and you will notice that effect of when two people are singing the same stuff it still sounds like it's two people at the end of the phrase, there's two people, and one of the vacuum vocalists is singing with her. So you notice that effect of two people saying the same. The audience on the left is really like giving their best and the audience on the right are just with their tiny flags. I guess it, it's kids and they're just bored and they're doing this. <laughs> come on she's not singing she's just lip singing i think it's once you notice it it's like ah oh, come on one two three go she's just moving her mouth or she's muted Nah, this is, this is just very boring. It's just fun because of this lip sync situation. But it was <sighs> boring. Next. Bye.